Good morning again. I'm Betsy, <laughs> um, children's ministry lead here at St. Andrews. If there's any kiddos, which I do see some, come on up and we'll do our children's message and then we'll go back to Sunday school if it's okay with your parents. Awesome. Your it's your birthday today? But it was my birthday. It was your birthday. Well, we'll do it today. All right. Good morning, all of you. Um, today, I don't know, we got a little bit of a hint of what we're going to be talking about in our prayer that we just read. Um, how many of you like fruit? How many of you love fruit? <laughs> I love fruit. It's so good. It's sweet and just so delicious. Sometimes it is a little sour. Um, today we're going to learn about something that Jesus told uh, um, his disciples. Now, remember we've talked before, Jesus liked to say things in a way that people were able to understand a little bit more easily. Remember like how we're learning the Old Testament books and some of them are really hard to say? Well, even in those Old Testament books, some of the lessons are kind of hard to learn. But the thing I love about the New Testament and Jesus is that he liked to put things a little bit easier to, to learn and to understand and to connect to. So Jesus told his disciples, I'm the true vine. My father, God, is the vine grower and you are the branches. Now, did he mean that he was actually a vine? No. No? Like he couldn't like snap his fingers and turn into like shrubbery? No, no, he was saying something. People then knew vines. You guys know what a vine is, right? Yeah. Does anybody not know what a vine is? A vine is like kind of like um, the main part of a plant, and usually it'll kind of like a stem. Yes. Or like you could kind of say, he could have said, I'm the tree trunk. That would have been a good way to say it too. <coughs> And it's good for us to learn things and ask questions if we don't understand part of it. Because if you don't know what a vine is or you don't know what a tree trunk is, then you're not going to understand the rest of the story, right? Good. And so, do you think Jesus meant that we're actually branches? No. No. Okay. So, I don't have a vine to show you, but I do have this branch from my apple tree. And it has made apples before. It's made lots of apples, right, Ruby? Yep, Tyler, have we had apples off this tree? Yeah. So um, I think it should make apples now. Nothing's happening. Um, Maybe if I put it in water, do you think it would make? No? What if I put it in the dirt? Would it? No? No? You don't think it would work? Why not? Anybody know? It's not a seed, okay? It doesn't have roots. That's true. What do we need roots for? To get water and nutrients and what else? Um, so it can get, so it can get um, vitamins. So vitamins, nutrients, yeah. What else? Um, so and then it's stronger into the ground, so it's harder to pull out. Yeah, so like if I just stuck this in the ground like this, something could come over and, well, there went my stick. Okay, um, so the, the vine or the trunk or the main part of the bush or the stem, it's really important to be connected to because it's not going to get all that it needs. It's not going to get the nutrients it needs. It's not going to get the stability that it needs, Right. And Jesus was saying, if we don't, if we're not connected to God and to Jesus, we're not going to have that stability. We're not going to get those nutrients, those things that we need to fill us and make us bear fruit and be able to grow and and share with others. Because that's like a tree's way of sharing is making fruit for us to eat, right? And then we get seeds, and then we can spread it even more, right? Because you can... Get even more fruit. And get more fruit, exactly. So does this lesson make sense? Yeah, I love this lesson. And we're going to talk even more about it back in Sunday school. So let's go ahead and pray, and then we'll go back and do our craft for the day. 
Okay, everybody hands in. Dear God, God, thank you so much for sending us Jesus Jesus. to teach us us. in a way we can understand understand. how you want us to live. live. Help us to be connected to you you every every day and bear good fruit. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good job.